What sort of background and, and context can you give us about these chapters? So these chapters we're looking at contain some of the most famous parables that the Savior gave in chapter 15 in particular. A statement by the prophet Joseph Smith has been really helpful for me. So he taught that when we're, we're reading a parable or reading a scripture, he says, I have a key by which I understand the scriptures. I inquire, what was the question which drew out the answer or caused Jesus to utter the parable? And so, for example, if we look at this chapter 15 with all of these lost, the lost sheep, the lost coin, the lost son, that the context, the setting, what was the question that drew out the answer is in the first couple verses. And so understanding that helps make the rest of the chapter make more sense. Because sometimes we just jump straight to the parable yeah. not realizing what led to right. the parable. It makes it harder to understand the parable if you don't know who is he speaking to, what is their issue, what's their concern, what's their problem, how is he using the story to help teach them. And sometimes the story is a really powerful way of calling someone to repentance because they hear the story and then they can reflect on their life without it being such a personal attack. Okay. And so I think these parables are a really powerful way telling these stories to invite people to, to re-examine their own lives. Mm -hmm.